Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. Today it is for my phone again because I still haven't found a way to make my camera work out and export the footage to my computer. So last time it worked it well with uh, the phone, so we are going to try again. And the only video that I wanted to film except of the um, my little box that haven't come yet is some book review. I haven't done that for a while, but I have read like quite a few books for the past few weeks, I'm going to say. I'm back in the game, I'm back in reading, and I really, really miss it, but I needed to do my exams. So back to reading and back to this. So I have four books. I even wanted to, oh, I even done my manicure. Yes, uh, yeah. So you have one glittery finger, okay, is that a finger? No. Uh, silver, um, nail polish, is this some semi-permanent organic nail polish? And I'm totally out of the video with talking who I was supposed to talk about books. So, yes, so yeah, nail polish, so back to the books and I'm going to show you, okay, you can see like the background. So the first book I'm going to talk about, I think I have done in the past some uh, review, but I'm not sure. So this book is like really, really pretty. It is in two parts and it's called New Victoria by Leah Abel. And this one is like with book two and one and it's like, okay, I can you guess that I picked this out because of the cover? Yes, I did. I love the gold kind of thing and I was thinking mm, I'm going to keep it and even like the side is looking like quite pretty so I'm like oh I'm going to keep it it's beautiful and it's looking like really really nice and yeah so I'm going to tell you what I thought about this book so um, I loved the first uh, book always like in this like I don't know how you call that when they group two books together I loved it I read it like in no time and then I had some exam but I started like a couple page of the second book and I don't know something was was not working for me I don't know I was I had some hard time getting through the second book and finally like a week ago a week ago I was like okay I need to finish this one because it's driving me crazy I, I need to so I started again the, first, the second book and no, it was slower, it was, I don't know, and maybe I should talk to you about this book and what it is about. So basically it is weird because it's about zombie, usually I don't like zombie, but it is a mix between zombie and steampunks and it is in like a dystopian kind of world and yeah, so basically the story is that you have the zombie, I'm going to start to try to summarize this because it's kind of a weird and interesting story but it's hard to explain so you have the zombies steampunk in one side and you have the human on the other side and in the human kind of world you are supposed like to get a degree get but get a degree in a way in to find a good husband find something good and yes yeah, stay that way and marry someone who was someone who has money who has power thing like that and um the main kind of character one of the main characters she is not like following like kind of pa the path and um no she lost her mother not so long ago her father is away and is working like with some kind of secret project and one day the world is going to kind of have some events and things are going to fall apart and she's going to take a total different kind of path and she's going to react in a kind of good way but yeah it's it's catching on it you are in the fight you are in everything with her and the second term come and no, I, I really, really wanted to like it, but the second time I didn't like it. So I'm going to pass this 
spoke to my best friend and after I think I'm going to sell it because I don't need a book that I didn't love. Yes. So this is it for this one and I'm so glad that I read the Marie Kondo book because it helped me I get rid of a lot, a lot of stuff. Okay, so the next book is uh, Sorcière Malgré Elle, but I think if I don't make a mistake, okay, I need to switch arm again. Uh, if I don't make a mistake, I think that this one is in French. I'm not sure if it's in English. Uh, yeah. So basically, it is about a girl who is 19 and she's moving back after a degree. She's moving back to her hometown, but. Uh, because she didn't have like a good relationship, she didn't want it to... How do you say that? Uh, she didn't want it to... Okay, this is better. I think I'm gonna go. She didn't want it to go back and it was like some boarding school and she didn't want to go back to her family. So something happened when she was away and her whole family died. And she didn't have a clue. The guy who was... Um, kind of uh, taking care of the wheel, make sure that all the expense uh, for her studies were paid, everything, and she, when she came back, she don't get it, she doesn't get it when, why no one has told her what is going on, and she's supposed like to inherit of something, but she doesn't really know what is happening, and it's about witches, it is about owning like your true self, and... Yeah, I really liked it. It's the first uh, first tom of this, so yeah, I'm looking forward to read the second one. It's pretty good because you can feel her pain and the way she lost after losing her family but didn't have time like really to know them. You you walk with her. She's like the kind of girl who go and get things done, and she's going to get attached to a guy who want to help her and she doesn't really want to be helped so it's kind of nice it's kind of some people find it low but I found it a little bit fresh and a little bit different but what we usually found with witches so I really liked it and yes so that was the second book so the third book is called La Conspiration La Conspiration and in English it is The Conspiration of Us it is by Maggie Hall Okay, I love the cover, that's why I picked this book. Um, and I was hooked. Uh, so I started this book because it was, it is a mix between the selection and the Da Vinci Code and I was like, it's kind of weird to explain a book this way. So let's see and hope it is going to be a good book. Um, I tried to not bo bring this book at my work to not like finish it I think I'll bring it brought it like one day and I was like no you can't read it or you're not going to focus on work so please just keep it in your bag so the story is about um, a girl she's like living a normal kind of teenage year and she's in high school and one day at the ball like the kind of prom ball thing uh, she's going uh, to be asked to come with a guy and she she didn't really want to go, she doesn't know what she's going to do with herself and from this day, uh, at, no, at the event, there is another guy who is going to show up and ruin everything and she's going to follow the guy, the first one, the one who, it's kind of a lot of people in this. Uh, she's going to follow the first guy who asked her out and because he's, ta he's telling her that he have answer on her family because she was only raised by, by her mother. So she's going to f follow this guy, she doesn't know him, she's going to follow him to Paris and she's going to discover a total different world, a world of powerful people and powerful people who are able to do kind of crazy thing and who have like an impact on everything and it's kind of a rewrite of the story, it's kind of nice. And I love the pack of the book that what made me pick it. They have the power to close down Prada for a shopping session. They have also the power to start a new world war. This is an aquarium family that every I'm translating in the same time. Okay. That every West is discovering at seventeen. So this member 
uh, belong to a um, how do you say that to a really um, really bad society or really like dangerous uh, secret society a circle and she is a key of some kind of enigma some kind of prophecy and withhold for millionaires and she's going to have to um, to unveil the truth about her origin she is like um, with two boys from a circle and their, their adventure are going to lead them like to the Louvre to Istanbul it's really nice and it's really like they find some clues, they go to the other clue it's really like some kind of enigma and at the same time you have really like the selection kind of way kind of like uh, you are supposed to marry this one and because you are from here and because from you are from this kind of side of um, the social kind of ladder you are not supposed to talk to this one it's good okay and when I finished it, I even like run out to the store and purchase the second one, but I don't know why. After this one, I was like, what if the second book is not good? I have some life questions, like, only in my brain. So, yes, so this one, really, really, really good. Really, really good. I liked it, and I like the way they, the, um, they complement they complemented each other, yes. And I have the fourth book, but I don't have this with me because yeah, I read it like on YouTube. It is an audiobook and it is a year of yes. I watched an interview of Shonda Rhimes and Oprah one day and I was like, this girl is crazy. Why you don't hear that much about her in France and everything? So I loved the Oprah interview and I was like, I need to read that book, I need to read that book. And one day it popped up on the audiobook uh, on YouTube and I was like, okay, I need to listen to this. I start to listen to this and the voice of Shonda, her character, the way she wrote the book is just amazing. It is like a seven hour book or something like that, but I didn't want to end it up. It is good. It is really good. And you really like get inside of her head. You really get her personality. You you get how she's scared and the pact she's going to make with herself. It's kind of crazy. So basically she it is some kind of autobiography kind of uh book and she made a pact with herself after a conversation with her uh sister and she wants to say yes to everything for a year. Things that scared her, things that still scare her, and it is good. And when you have a voice reading our words, it's just even better because I start reading the sample. The sample is good, the book is good, but if you can get Shonda voice on top of this, it is just amazing. So this book is good, and this book even made me realize some stuff, stuff, stuff about myself, and taking a little bit more risk. Maybe for people it's not that much risk, but for me it was risky, two or three times. And so, yeah, I even want to re 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 listen, re listen, re read. I don't know how you say that. This book because she is amazing and. Now I want to see more interview of her, and it's kind of superwoman kind of vibe, and the way she realized thing about herself, and I loved especially the last chapter with about marriage, marriage, and how she makes this kind of um, not decision, but she makes this kind of uh, thing when she's saying, "I don't want to get married. I don't want." I just have my children, my family, if I have a boyfriend, it's okay, but right now, and even she doesn't want to have a boyfriend, and I love how she explained, like, the society kind of rule, kind of tag, kind of thing, that we have, absolutely everyone have to fit in it, fit in, and she's good, she's really good, and yeah, 
and I was really really impressed and yeah so that was my fall book only like one kind of disappointed me but it was the second of the two and yeah so I'm going to leave there because I'm starting like to notice that there is like some minutes kind of going on and my pen is not like perfect okay I can be perfect I get um yes yeah, so Oh, this is from the phone. The case of the phone is like giving me like this kind of thing. Okay, it is starting to hurt my hands and yes, so I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to wish you an amazing, amazing, amazing day, an amazing, amazing week. I'm going to thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. I hope I'm back in the book game. I love it. Uh, yes, so I hope you love this video or like. You can like even this video. Uh, yes. And I'm going to see you next week. And please, please, please don't forget to smile. Bye. Oh, gosh, a book fold. It's a book fold.